Hello everyone. In our last video, we saw how to operate on large numbers. In this video, we'll see how we can convert the large number into small numbers and perform operations. So, we'll talk about conversion of measurement units. Now, we have learned about measurement units in earlier standards. We know that there are different measurement units such as centimeter, millimeter, kilometer, meter for measuring the distance. We also have gram, kilograms for measuring the weight. We have liter, milliliter for measuring quantity, the liquid quantity. And we have other units such as paise and rupees. So these measurement units help us to reduce large numbers into smaller numbers and perform operations. Before we go and perform operations using these measurement units, let's understand relationship between two measurement units in one category. So first talk about the category distance. In distance, we have measurement units such as millimeter, centimeter, meter and kilometer. Now let's understand how much one centimeter is in terms of millimeter. One centimeter is 10 millimeter. How much is one meter when we talk about centimeter? One meter is 100 centimeter. How much is one kilometer in terms of meters? One kilometer is 1000 meter. So once we know this relationship between different units of the same category, we will be able to reduce a bigger number into smaller number. For example, let's say I travel 2,35,000 meters. Instead of saying I travel 2,35,000 meters, what I can say is I traveled certain kilometers. Just see here how many zeros we have. 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and how many zeros? We have 3 zeros. So once we have this number, what we need to do is we need to remove these last 3 zeros. And what remains is 235 kilometers. So 2,35,000 meters is same as 235 kilometers. Let's take one more example. Let's say I have 2400 centimeters of cloth. I don't want to show it in centimeter. I want to reduce the number. So if I want to show it in meters, what is the conversion unit? One meter is equal to 100 centimeter. How many zeros are there in this centimeter? There are two zeros. From the end, I should remove these two zeros. If I remove these two zeros, what is remaining is 24. So 2400 centimeters is equal to 24 meters. This is a way to reduce the size of the number or make a large number smaller. Let's now look at the units related to weight. The units related to weight, what we know is milligrams represented as mg or grams represented as g or kilograms. Again, what is the relation? 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram and 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. If we talk about capacity, or measuring the liquid quantity. Then we know milliliter and we know liter. So what is one liter? One liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. How much is one meter? One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. But we know that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So, 100 centimeter will equal to 1000 millimeter and therefore, if we see 1 meter is equal to 
1000 millimeters. Now let's look at some pattern here. We see here 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram, milli. Here 1 liter is 1000 milliliter and here 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. So if we see the middle unit if we talk about one of them, one is equal to 1000 milli. What milli? Milligram, millimeter, milliliters. So one gram, one meter or one liter is equal to 1000 milligram, milliliter or millimeter. Same way we see kilograms or kilometer. If you see kilo, kilo is 1000 meter. Here kilo is 1000 gram and here kiloliter is always 1000 liter. So when we talk about kilos, 1 kilo, or 1 kilogram or 1 kilometer or 1 kiloliter is equal to 1000 grams or meters or liters. So the milli and kilo, they are related to the central unit which is gram, meter or liters by a factor of 1000.